The CEO of JP Morgan Chase has just called TikTok stupid and encouraged kids to read more books. For comment, let's go to CEO Show Chu. Uh, Mr. Senator, I do believe that Mr. Diamond is a little bit outside of our general demographic range, and therefore he is unfamiliar with the positive impacts of TikTok, the app. Oh my goodness, let's get into the comment section. Jamie Dimon tells Gen Z to stop wasting its time on TikTok and read books instead. Andrew, this is pretty interesting because in 2023, CEO Jamie Dimon defended working with TikTok on some financial stuff. Well, let's play the clip. But advice to students, learn, 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 learn. If you're a Democrat, read the Republican opinion, you know, the good ones. There are a lot of good, very smart ones there. If you're a Republican, read the Democrat ones. Read history books. You can't make it up, okay? You can't make it up with people that deal with when Nelson Mandela, Abe Lincoln, Sam Wal Walton. Uh, you, you, you only learn by reading and talking to other people. There's no other way yet. Maybe one day they'll be able to inject knowledge into your brain directly or something like that. <laughs> uh, so learn, be smart about it. People waste a tremendous amount of time. For most of you guys, turn off TikTok, Facebook, uh, a st total stupid waste of shit, waste of time, and and uh, Andrew in 2023 he said, "Listen, guys, J.P. Morgan would not work with clients that are doing things that we think are truly bad." In 2024 he says, "Yo, man, Gen Z." Quit spending so much time on TikTok. It's making you stupid. Yeah. Well, we got to go in the comments section and uh, you guys weigh in down below. Obviously, Jamie Dimon is one of the more outspoken kind of tough love CEOs out there. He is the head of a big bank. Shout out to Chase. Well, you know, I like the bank, but but uh, obviously a lot of people have a lot to say about Jamie Dimon himself. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys. Check out Smile Last Sauce at SmileLastSauce.com on Amazon.com. I'll tell you this, Andrew. He's about 68 years old. He's worth $1.7 billion. Let's get into some questions that we have about Mr. Dimon. Andrew, number one, is Jamie Dimon self-serving because TikTok creators and social media creators can't benefit him as a bank. Like the chances are, if you're a successful creator, you're not going to go be a employee soldier for JP Morgan, or is he genuinely concerned about society? I mean, I think that these comments were made in a very long talk at Georgetown, about 40 minutes of a questionnaire. And he just called it a waste of time. And he's like, uh, Actually, she said the S word too. So total waste of ish. Actually, yeah. doesn't he? I never even heard that total waste of ish. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, go read history books." Now, does reading history books more benefit him, or is he also telling the truth? I think there's also some truth to what he's saying. A lot of people are bringing up Andrew that Jamie Dimon keeps dissing crypto while J.P. Morgan has a J.P.M. coin crypto out. Uh, so I there's mean, a little, a little. A little hypocritical, possibly. He does say, I'm not a big fan of cryptocurrency. He said that. I don't think... But JP Morgan offers a vast array of cryptocurrency products. Yeah, well, they are still... Regardless whether he's a fan of cryptocurrency, JP got to give the people what they want. All right, point number two, Andrew. Obviously... This sounds like a popular thing to say in 2024. TikTok is brain rot. TikTok is the cause. You know, look at the comments. TikTok is the cause of a lost generation. Is it really TikTok's fault? Or is it just where America's headed and is what? I, I say it's really more freedom, if anything. Oh. Because, Andrew, they had the STEM tab, and guess what? They took it away, and now you have to add it on versus it being natively on the app. You have to add it back on because... It was unpopular. Uh, yeah, I feel like that social media in general, but TikTok being for sure one of those supercharged apps. And, that, and the most questioned because what? It's from China, right? Right. I, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, people are always going to question because of the parent company and then also this supercharged algorithm that it has. Although it is similar to other social media. It's kind of like Vine mixed with Instagram mixed with what, YouTube? Um, moving on, number three, Andrew. Is TikTok a ploy from China to destroy young American minds? This is a, you could find this question asked about 600 times a day. I don't know. That's, I, you know, I don't think so, but definitely, I think, I'll tell you this. If, if I know anything about just Chinese people, they're, they're after the money. Yeah. Like if the STEM tab paid a bunch of... If, Basically, making Americans super smart at STEM made them more money than the brain rot content. They would go that way. Uh, but Mr. Senator, I must say that uh, although TikTok was not originally designed as a weapon to brain rot the American child's mind, I do believe that 
it is being used that way. <laughs> well, you know, for us, we are just trying to provide the end user the primary objective and their desires. That is all my job is to provide dopamine. I sell serotonin. Uh, let's get into the comment section, Andrew. Somebody said, listen to Mr. Diamond or also else you guys will all remain unemployed. And then somebody said, you know, this is good advice from a lousy source because everybody knows Jamie Dimon is very self-serving. Somebody said, you can learn from TikTok. In fact, there's like book reviews on TikTok. And, you know, I find out about new books and articles to read. And somebody said, let's be honest. Yeah, you can use TikTok for that. But 97% of people do not. Right. Well, yeah, I guess what? Then the I guess it is what you make it. Um, somebody said knowledge compounds over time. And it is especially true in the investing business. Please teach more kids about investing. I got a suggestion for TikTok, Andrew. Instead of the STEM tab, right, where they had the STEM tab, it's been re replaced with the shop app by default. Now you can put the STEM uh, tab back next to the shop app, uh, shop tab. How about this, Andrew? How about an investing slash life skills tab? Mm. What if... TikTok as an app gave you all the options to get to like the core, like this is going to help societal content way more easier, not just one STEM tab. Because I'll tell you this, Andrew, if the kids are not clicking on any tab in TikTok, it's the STEM tab. Mm. That is the one tab they're avoiding. Somebody said this applies to all generations. And this guy said it does, but older generations grew up without social media. So we don't really like, you know, have as the consequences of it, even though we would waste our times on other things like comic books. Uh. So I think that this is the thing, Andrew. Older people had less information than younger people, right? But they also have less misinformation. Right. I mean, what if we just say this way, it's just easier to make more bad decisions nowadays. But is it easier to make more good decisions too, though? It is, right? It is. So it's easier to fall into your own human nature, though. Like, there is more better options, but there's also more worse options. And there's more ways to waste your time now. So I guess it comes down to the child that they're not raised correctly and they're making the wrong decisions. And then uh, they just waste more and more time. Right, right, right. And obviously it is the American con in the American constitution to have freedom of speech. So if kids go towards Skibbity, Ohio, toilet, get brain rot, then that's what the algorithm is going to feed them. Unless, you know, if people want to launch a petition to ban all that stuff, then you can, but then people would say that it's banned on free speech too. Um, I do think, yeah, you're right. It, it provides an avenue to, for people to lean into their impulses. And maybe right now, for whatever reason, people are having less motivated, less uh, productive impulses, more worse or baseline, right? Of course, people are saying that Jamie Dimon is being selfish. He just wants smart brain workers to go work at JP Morgan and up the stock price and all the dominance of his global conglomerates. Uh. Um, yes and no, man. Here's my final takeaway, man. America probably should regulate these social media platforms more but I just don't think that they are. So then it's falling on individual parents, but the individual parents themselves, what's the guarantee that they're consuming the right things? Maybe they're consuming whatever is equivalent brain rot. Cause I remember for a long time, Andrew, um, you know how like it used to be like hard copy and uh, inside edition and like 60 minutes, all these uh -huh. like educational pieces. But then reality TV came into play with Jerry Springer and then, you know, the Kardashians and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> where it was like people started to basically have like mainstream brain rot, but now it's more just like user created. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, like, is it just, when do we need to be protected from ourselves? And at what point does that protection, first of all, they're, they're not taking place, but if they did, would they infringe on personal rights? There needs to be uh, some kind of coaxing or a push or some type of regulation to push people towards better content or at least uh, regulation so that the worst content doesn't show up. But uh, my overall takeaway is this, guys. Like, I don't know if you need to read more books because every time someone thinks of books, they're like, oh, you mean I got to buy this heavy thing that's like 500 pages and then flip through it and my neck's going to cramp audiobooks, listen to lectures. What I love on YouTube is that there are so many free lectures of professors and authors online that you can listen to. I can sit in on a Harvard lecture when I don't even have to step foot on the Harvard campus. Or you might not even be able to gain access to that physically. Yeah, and it's on YouTube. So that's why I support YouTube. Even though YouTube also has its brain rot stuff, it is also easier to get to the long form smart stuff. So 
YouTube has people summarizing books. Obviously, you have audiobooks from all the audiobook websites. You have free lectures of people, of professionals, of smart people talking about things. And oftentimes, so the comment section underneath those lectures is a whole nother yeah, thing. Yeah, and the comment section usually of the lectures is also very educated as well. So it's out there on YouTube. So I support YouTube. So that's what I do sometimes. I watch like lectures or I'll watch people summarize books where I know I'm not going to read the book because I'm just not going to sit there next to a windowsill. Listen, guys, yeah, I, I'll say this. I like Kai Sinat and, and, and even more controversially, I show speed reactions fairly a decent amount. You know what I mean? They're very charismatic individuals. I don't think they'd be multi-millionaires off reacting off stuff if they weren't very charismatic and, mag and you know, drawing gravitation, pulling magnetism. But ultimately, guys, you got to make your own decisions because nobody... I mean, let's just run this clip about Jamie Dimon saying that you're responsible for your own life. You can have work-life balance. I tell people, Jamie Moore Chase, it is your job to take your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul, your friends, your family, your health. Your job. It's not our job. So I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding that some of the companies, now we should do everything we can to help you. And I tell people, we give you medical, shrinks, Pilates, massages. I mean, we, we really do try to take care of our people. But I can't make up for you not doing those other things, and you really have to do it yourself. Listen, guys, I don't know. I just think we're entering an era where you can fall as far and as dumb as you want, or you can go as high and as smart as you want. The decision's on you. Nobody's going to help you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys watch on TikTok? You know what? Let us know some good value adding TikToks in the comment section below. Until next time, we're going to hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.